going on fellow band critics i'm steven and today right now we're about to take a look at the north carolina a t aggie fan fest 2024 performance the footage we're about to see in here is courtesy of blue and gold marching machine media there'll be a link down in the description below as well as in the cards at the top be sure to go watch that original video so you can see it in its entirety without any of my interruptions and it's going to look and sound better on that channel so do that okay so this is the first look of the 2024 edition of last year's ESPN Band of the Year for Division One, the Blue and Gold Marching Machine. I'm excited to see what they look and sound like, so we're gonna get right into it. And in this video, there will be a review portion where I will go into a little bit of depth on how I feel about the band and how they sound, so stay tuned for that. Sit back and relax, grab your popcorn and snacks. Without any further ado, let's do what it do. If you'd like to make video requests, consider becoming a producer or here's my cash app. So those are the two ways you can request videos. Moving on. All right, here we go. All right. This is the current ESPN band of the year right here until the next one happens. Let's go, band. Nice drone shot there. Come on. All I do, band. All right, drum majors. <laughs> Come on, brass. Mm. Come on, hit that note up there. Pitch accuracy. Hmm. Dang, come on. Show them how to do it, clarinets. Golden Delight. Hello. I like that setup. I like that parade setup there. Mm, got some work to do. Lower brass on those pitches, those top notes, notes up there. But I like the setup I'm seeing here. Is this the normal parade setup? It looks like the band is pretty even, like, um, you know, split directly in half, almost like it's pretty much set up to go right into this block they're about to do right here for this performance. But is that the normal parade setup? I don't think I noticed that when you all did the Rose Bowl this year. You all did a fantastic job of Rose Bowl too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, then that's the second half back there. Look like it look, was that trumpets. Trumpets in the front? It sounds I think so. It's hard to see a little bit, but let me know in the comments what the setup's like. If I can't get a see a good shot of it. And that percussion section cold still always doing a good job. Nice and neat, sounding clean, per usual for them. Never quite know exactly how North Carolina a t is going to march into a place <laughs> with that low marching style you all do and that high knee lift. 
And I don't think you all have horn swings when you all are playing. I gotta look, gotta watch that again, but I don't think so. Look good, dancers. I like it though, North Carolina Auntie, I like it. Yeah, see how fast they got to this formation? Maybe that's how the setup was. Good lord, what is that? Are those the cheerleaders? Okay. I was finna say, godly, golden delight. I ain't got a whole another army over there. But those are the cheerleaders, because those are pom-poms. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, switch the phones. Da, 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 da. Uh oh, Cookman. What y'all gonna do about that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give me that what? Nice sound, man. Nice full sound. Sound very clean. You all sound a lot better when you're not marching. Okay. Yep. I mean, you would think a band would sound better when they're standing still, but the sound should sound the same when they're moving or standing still, right? Yes, correct. That's, that's correct. All right, so we go. We have the percussion coming on down front. Looks like cold steel is about to have a feature. So let's hear what these nice tonal sound like. Tonal basses, tonal basses, tonal basses. The bass drums that sound like notes. What's that on the shirt? Just like one drum major? Like a drum major face? Okay. Is that someone special? Hey, hey. 
Hey, hey. <laughs> Sound good, percussion really clean, very clean. What's about to happen? It's about to change. I mean, I think it's all still one cadence. Or did it just, just seamlessly mix into another cadence? Is it a mix of cadences? Cade I? I don't know. <laughs> Wow, I'm in college now. <laughs> Golden Delight, coming in a hundred strong, no I'm kidding, oh, wow. If at all possible, invest in a drone for your band program and a drone operator. You, know. you can show people nice vantage points like this. Very nice, very nice. Media team here always does a great job. Okay, is it over percussion? It's over? Yeah, he's like, all right, y'all. Right into it. Okay, great job, go to delight. I mean, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the dancers look bad on anything, really. 
All right. Nice sousaphones. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I like the arrangement. But let's execute, Ben. <laughs> yes, ma'am, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, trombone. Hmm. Okay. The audio is so clear you can hear a lot, you know. Great job though. Excuse me, euphoniums. those baritones, I can't really see. Oh, that's a nice shot right there. That's nice. Nice job. Great job. All right. <laughs> There's more. So what's up, A&T? Y'all caught out 
Alabama a and y'all ready for them? <laughs> you all think you're gonna have a two-time ESPN Band of the Year championship? Jackson State coming for y'all. <laughs> and apparently the Bulldogs of Alabama, Aggies and Bulldogs, going at it. Dog fight to the end, huh? At the Honda Battle of the Bands. As I keep trying to talk and try to make it seem like this song, this song is shorter. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> that shot's from something else. If you love bands like I do and enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more super awesome, great, kick ass content. All right, there you have it. That was the Blue and Gold March Machine performing at their 2024 Fan Fest. This is still the current Division I ESPN Band of the Year until another champ is crowned this December. How did they sound at this year's Fan Fest compared to last year's Fan Fest performance? Let's take a look. Here's a chart that expresses my pure 100% subjective opinion of how I think the two bands sounded. The 2024 version we heard this year versus the 2023 version last year. First and foremost, as you can see, I believe this year's band sound better than last year's band, for sure. Not by much, but at this point in the season, right at the beginning, they sound better. The biggest issue for me this year was in the euphonium section. Possibly the trombones too, but for sure the euphonium section was struggling with pitch accuracy in the upper register. The parade into the performance area is where the biggest problems with sound occurred. Other than that, we all know the blue and gold March Machine is going to be a polished, bougie force to be reckoned with this year. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing and continue to let all of your haters know why you all are the first band of the year. According to ESPN. What did you all think of the Blue and Gold March Machine of North Carolina A&T's first performance of the year? Will they have a repeat win in the ESPN Band of the Year competition? Did they make a mistake calling out the Bulldogs of Alabama A&M for the 2025 Honda Battle of the Bands in Los Angeles, California? Will Jackson State randomly march onto their campus and blow them clean out of their own stadium? What do you all think? Let me know, comment down below, peace. Thank you for tuning in to Stephen Holiday Band Critic. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and drop a comment sharing your thoughts. For more captivating content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can further support this channel by clicking the thanks button next to the subscribe button or purchasing some of our new merch. Consider becoming a value channel member for exclusive access to behind-the-scenes footage, special live streams, and tutorial videos. Until next time, play in tune and don't hang over.